Can you just give me a minute, please? I don't have time, Alan. You owe me an explanation. I don't owe you anything. Monica, that house is as important to my family as my son. But which son is that? Alan Jr., of course. Oh, right, of course. Monica, please, you're not being reasonable. Alan, why? Don't you just stop beating a dead horse? Because nothing you're going to say is going to change my mind. The house is as good as sold. In 90 days, the new owners are going to take possession. You'll regret it. Not half as much as you'll regret it. Georgia, can I use the phone, please? Oh, certainly, Alan. Thank you. Yourself. Nurse Cobb, report to pediatrics, nurse station. Nurse Cobb, report to pediatrics, nurse station. Hello, Randall. This is Alan Quartermain. Uh, let me talk to my father, please. I'm fine, thank you. I don't really care what I sound like, Randall. I'm fine. Please let me talk to my father. <sighs> Hello, Dad. Yeah, what is it, Alan? I just talked to her. Well, I assume you're referring to Monica. Yes, and she refuses to discuss what she's done. You mean selling the house? Of course, selling the house. I'm pretty well determined it isn't a bluff. I'm sure that she's going to go through with it. Oh, terrific. Just what I needed to hear. First of all, my wife throws me out of my position in my own company. Then my daughter-in-law tosses me out of my home. Well, we've still got 90 days. Yeah, to do what? Pack up and move into one of those cardboard condominium places and suffocate? You calm down, Dad. I've got an idea. Yeah, well, don't invite me to come and live with you and Susan. Oh, you think I'm cantankerous now, eh? Where do you get me under the same roof? Trust me, you'll receive no such invitation, aside from the fact that I... I don't like you. We don't have enough room. Yeah, well, thank heaven for small favors. Okay, what's your idea? There's only one person left who can help us out of this jam. Oh, now, don't say it, Alan. I don't even want to hear that name. You have to ask her, Dad. Alan, if there's one thing your mother doesn't owe me, it's a favor. Tell you something. She does not want to be thrown out on the street. She doesn't want it as badly as you don't want to be thrown out on the street. Well, that's true. And uh, she and Monica are close. They are close indeed. And I really believe that Mother is the only person that Monica will listen to. Yeah, but is Lila going to listen to me? Well, you're going to have to make sure that she listens to you. <sighs> All right, Alan. But I'm not promising anything. You're going to have to try real hard. Because I'll tell you. This is our last chance to save the place. And it's in your court. Bye-bye. There's one thing in here that I was looking for. Go. Get away! What's on earth is going on? A little payoff. What does it look like? Where did all this paper come from? Oh, that damn computer's been spitting out enough paper to make a dighty for King Kong. I asked a simple yes or no question and it printed the whole world almanac. Backwards, I think. Well, why did you call me? What was so urgent? The house. The house, Lila. I certainly don't have to tell you that Monica's selling it right out from under us. Well, I think we still have 90 days, dear. I'm sure we'll find something in that time. Lila. What are, you, what, what are you saying? How could you take this whole thing so casually? Edward, my dear, I learned a long time ago not to fight destiny. Monica has sold the house. We must accept it. Other people accept things. The Quartermains never. We are not pacifists. Mm, well, I'm afraid that I have more pacifist blood in my veins than Quartermain blood. Yeah, your father's blood. Always said he was a weak-kneed little uh, groundhog. Edward, you are speaking of the deceased. Aren't you ashamed? Well, why? People are going to be saying a hell of a lot worse things about me after I'm gone. But, Lila, we're not here to argue. Now, look, darling. For the first time in ages, we're on the same side. Now, we must get Monica to stop selling the house. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about it, dear. Well, there's nothing I can do, and certainly there's nothing that Alan can do. But on the other hand, you may be just the person to pull off the impossible and get Monica to reconsider. Well, what makes you think that? Well, uh, she, she likes you, Lila. She may even love you. The Lord knows I think it's highly improbable that Monica could ever love anybody. Well, what do you want me to do, Edward? I want you to go to the hospital and talk to her. Get her to drop this full thing. Today? Well, of course today. There's no reason to put it off. Oh, dear. I was going to have tea with Emma Lutz and then get my hair done. Oh, Emma Lutz! Uh, oh! Edward! Oh, my heart! Edward! Oh! Oh! It's all right, Lana. It's all right. It'll pass. Uh, do you uh, want me to get your pills? Uh, yes, yes, yes. On my desk. Oh! Oh, 
this is what Monica's done to me. Ah, oh, I'm a wreck. I may not make it if she keeps it up. Here, dear, here's your pill. Uh, not until you promise to talk some sense into Monica. Oh, all right, dear. I'll, uh, if you insist, I'll go after I've had my hair done. Uh, give me the pill, give me the pill. Oh. Oh, I feel so much better. Mm. Uh, Do you want me to call a doctor? Only if the doctor's name is Monica. <sighs> All right. I'll go and see her. She and I do have an understanding. Uh, don't worry about a thing, dear. Oh, thank you, darling. This time... This time... I just might pull through. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure you will, dear. Place. Oh, you can't just turn them out in the street. Why not? It might do them some good. You're not serious. Oh, it's a rather tempting thought. Oh, I wouldn't worry about them. They're well provided for. Besides, Lotta's been trying to get Edward to move to Palm Beach for ages. Where are you going to live? Well, I think I'll look for a place, preferably near the hospital. Well, there's some neat places for sale on Idaho Place. Oh, good. I'll have to take a look. Won't you be a little lonely living by yourself? <laughs> I'm not going to be. I'm going to have Alan Jr. with me. Well, you know what I mean. Yep, I know what you mean. But I'll tell you something. Living with the quarter mains in the quarter main house is a lot worse than living alone. If you say so. What are you going to do with the money from the sale of the house? Well, I'm going to put it in a trust fund for Alan Jr. But I promise you, I shall put some of it aside for a donation to the sports center. Well, what a good idea. Thank you so much. All donations <laughs> gratefully Monica accepted. Dr. Monica Quartermain, ICU staff. Uh, Dr. Uh, Monica Quartermain, ICU staff. Excuse me, ladies. Dr. Ogama, call orthopedic. Third floor. Hello, Mother. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? I'm fine. I imagine you're here to talk to Monica, are you? Well, how did you know? Well, I spoke to Father earlier on, and we both thought it would be the best thing if you spoke to her about the house. Well, I don't know what I'm going to say. Say whatever you can. Appeal to her heart. She still has one. Well, I'll do my best. I know you will. Do you want me to be there with you? Oh, absolutely no. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, dear, but surely all this business about the house is just Monica's way of getting even with you. Your presence would only make things far worse. I guess it's best if we're not seen together, so I wish you luck. Thank you, dear. I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> She'll be right down, Mrs. Quartermain. Um, perhaps you'd rather wait in the, in the lounge. Um, yes, perhaps I will. Then I'll be out of the way. Oh, thank you. Of course. Lila! Oh, hello, dear. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Ah, uh, no. Matter of fact, I just finished my round. So what's wrong? Well, we have some serious business to discuss. In other words, you're here to talk about the house, right? Definitely. I think it's time we have a serious talk. Lila, please. No, Monica. I want you to hear me out on this. Listen, listen. There's no point. I mean, I've made my decision. Well, then at least you could do me the courtesy of hearing my side. All right, all right. But I must say something, Lyle, you know, it's a little strange. There was a time you were on my side. Yes, yes, I was, before. But that was when I thought that it was just a harmless joke on Alan. I never dreamed that you'd carry it this far. Well, I have, and that's all there is to it. Oh, please, Monica, it's not too late to change your mind. Cancel the sale, and Alan will pay the commission, and that way, you've won. No, Lila, that means he's won. Look, I'm not going to forgive him for what he said in that hallway the other day. Oh, those were just words said in the, in the heat of anger. But he was gloating, Lila. No matter what. I mean, he was saying things like he could see right through me, that he had won. I'm telling you, I'm not going to give him that satisfaction. Well, then, what about Edward and me? Look, you've got the place in Palm Beach. Well, well that's not the point, dear. Uh, Edward is very, very upset about this. In fact, he went so far as to fake another heart attack. Well, as long as he was just faking, Lila, then I'm not concerned. 
Oh, Monica, you must reconsider. If not for Alan and Edward, well, then for me. I'm sorry, Lyle. Really, I am. But I guess this time our paths just have to cross. I'm going to sell the house. That's all. <sighs> Nurse Cobb, report to pediatrics, nurse's station. Nurse Cobb, report to pediatrics, nurse's station. Mother? It's no good, dear. I'm afraid we're up against a closed door. 